Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Uh, today is uh, what day? Today is Wednesday. I think 13th of uh, March 2025. Hello, hello. Apume. Nyame Adam. All right. Do you remember about uh, two to three years ago? I made a video in a community called Afringwa. So Afringwa is where I've been teaching for the past 16 years. I came here in 2008 as a teacher and I've still been here uh, with 2024 and I'm still here. And speaking to some of the elders and they realizing the things, some of the things that I've been doing for Asebu and other places, uh, one Ebusia Pain or one, uh, the head of one of the clans here said, hey Eko, I have some plots that I want to you know give out to you know i want to sell not giving it out sell to anybody who is interested in living in ghana so i made a video and i personally uh we spoke about eight plots and then out of the eight plots we sold everything and then fast forward i was speaking to one of my brothers in the u.s i think uh who is from jamaica but living in the u.s he said hey echo I've been watching a Cebu project and everything. I don't want to be in a Cebu. Can you find me a different place? I'm like, yeah. Uh, in my village where I teach, there are lands. So then, this is the outcome. All right. So he trusted me, sent me money, made purchase, did architectural drawing, did a um, uh, building permit and everything for him. And we are currently here this is what we are talking about i think it's a two-story and today i'm going to take you on a tour to his place he's giving me the permission to do this so so uh we started previously the place didn't have anything like a road here the whole place was bushy like here okay full of um oranges because the owner of this uh land planted oranges there, there's you know my 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 village has some orange plantation and all that okay so there are some oranges a lot of them so we spent a lot of money just to create this street here or this road here it wasn't easy on the first time uh but we were able to do something and so uh this is uh he got two plots of land here there's two plots of land uh we cleared it I made sure they did this um, wall, which later we're going to address it. But everything is going on smoothly. Uh, now, the first part of the plot, which is up there, is where the house is going to be at. Don't forget that we had to do a borehole here. Yes. Uh, shout outs to Mike. Uh, Mike, I've forgotten the name of your, uh, your company. But I've been working with you in Asebu. You've been honest. We've been honest with each other working together and all that. So he did this borehole and it's really working. It's really, really working. And so this is how the whole place is looking. I told you that anytime you're building, you need to get something like this where you can put your, your supplies and everything in there. Now we've got a poly tank here where the water is stored for other works and all that. Let me go through this here. So I am personally overseeing this project 
for my brother. I am personally overseeing this project. This whole place wasn't there, honestly. This was a bush, and luckily for him, just behind, there is a mango tree. <laughs> I remember when uh, I shot a drone video for him, he was like, hey, Echo, this mango tree, can I also purchase this plot? I'm like, nah. <laughs> you remember, right? Yes, so there's a mango. I think the mangoes are coming anyway. They are coming in the mango season. All right, let's, let's go on. So this is a backyard, it goes out. Okay, and we happen to have purple plants inside. This one is inside. As I told you, there are oranges, there are mangoes, and uh, he's lucky. He's gonna enjoy himself anytime he's here. So we're gonna finish the dam. This will be a toilet facility. Is gonna be the garage or something like that. We're gonna park our cars. Our cars. <laughs> so I had to come with a taxi guy, this guy. So I'm gonna pay him for staying to wait for me because I didn't come with my car. <laughs> Alright, so this is the top section of the place of the house. We have an open space like so that is the village over there. That is the village that I teach. So the school is somewhere. Uh okay, so that's the village. Assembly man! Hey, assembly! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, uh, those, that guy uh, wanted to be the assembly man of my area, but he lost. So I think he's, he's also a carpenter. I've worked with him. He worked on Mr. Lin's project, most of the ceiling and stuff like that. So he's from my village. And I was trying to pull these people, you know, to get something to do. And then my driver, the one I take to... Uh, the airport, do the airport pickup. He's also coming. He's working with the carpenter guy. Okay, so this is the view from the top. This is the view from the top. So let me go in and show you some of this. So the carpenters are here, you know, doing their work. And then we will continue with the roofing. And then possibly we will do this before the rain sets in. So if you're watching this video, uh, the rains will set in very soon. Uh, we almost in the third month. No, we are in the third month. Yes. So, as you can see, work is ongoing. All the pipes have been laid. All the pipes have been laid. sure this place is going to be a bedroom how sweet would it be having a bedroom like this with this nice window huge one here and there and overlooking if it has it has to be a glass overlooking the beautiful community with all the greens man this is awesome There's another view here too. So there's the entrance to the place. There's one here and there's one at where the guys are coming from.
The carpenters are seriously working. They got into them. So we're we'll boiling to them, Emma. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they've got into the lentil side. So that is the work which is ongoing. So after this, the masons will come and do their work and complete it. They attack, I say, hey, you are disturbing me. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be nice. How can you have your window just right here? You can easily open the window and pluck some. Yes, open the window and pluck something. Pluck some mango. Oh God, I'm 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 really happy seeing this update from my man, uh, from my brother, from my father, from my uncle. He trusted me. Put things in my arms. I said, Echo. You are my eye on the ground. Don't disappoint. And I didn't. I'm happy. Ah, mango. <laughs> Make sure that when you when when the mangoes are ripe and I'm not around, you're gonna plug mine and save it before I come. So there's gonna be a bathhouse, as you can see. And then there's a, a washroom here. I'm sure there's gonna be another room. And then another, uh, might be, I don't know. So, okay, so let me tell you something. Um, you've heard that Ghana is going to go into the mining of lithium right fortunately my community Afringwa happens to be a community that lithium was found or located so along the way you realize that they've put these stamps these posters saying that mine of lithium boundary or something I'll go and get a video of it when I'm going back and then show you it means that in the next five years if things go well and the people are uh, you know they, they try to communicate with the mining company very well here is supposed to develop because it's going to be a mining community yes so that is it over there so lithium production is going to happen somewhere here and uh, there's a place called Ewea. Ewea is where they found the majority uh, of the lithium or something but coming towards the borderline that is where my community Afringwa uh, also has uh, some um, you know pieces of lithium here so uh, it has it has not been easy trying to get these things done uh, I remember we did a whole lot you know we, I mean we did a whole lot to get this place here so you can see there's a construction ongoing so these people will come and buy the sand from that side and then Charlie Afrango Ribeu Anna it's a production Yo. Yo. okay so let me show you the brothers that I was talking to you about so this guy the one in orange Chama what's your name Imam Rasaki Imam Rasaki yeah. what is your occupation what what work do you do uh, carpentry carpentry yeah. Okay, have you worked with anybody in Asebu before? Yes, mm, Mr. Len. Mr. Len. Mr. Len. Yes, hi. <laughs> hey, Chema. Yo. Yeah. What from? What's your name? Oh, from Yao. Yeah. <laughs> so anybody who has been to Ghana and we had to come and pick them up from the airport, he was the driver. He's very short, but he can drive. Shorty. <laughs> Alright. So basically, that is it. I'm gonna fly a drone and then show you some other places. I call Simpson. Connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland.
Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Share with you how the cars here look like. The ones in the village. The car won't even lock. We show up the internet. We're about to car full from Yeah. I'm telling him his car is old, so we need to buy him a new car. Yeah. <laughs> The road is a little bit dirty, so sometimes the drivers. They had a lot of it. You do be a little for the home post to be BBC one. Let me try. On the minsen, let me check it. Hello.
As I mentioned to you earlier on, I told you that um, the community, part of the community is uh, part of the, the lithium project. So I'm going to show you one of it here. So we just came from this side. People are building. So this is it. A way of lithium project mining area boundary line. All right. So this is one of the boundary lines. There are a lot of these things uh, somewhere there and over there, all right? And Eweya, that is the name of the community where they found the lithium itself, where they found a lot of it. So they named the project after the area. So Eweya Lithium Project Mining Area, as you can see over there, all right? And Eweya shares boundary with Afringwa, my community, where I teach and work. For the past 16 years so it's a big project upcoming uh let's see what happens thank you very much for checking me out peace